now that um Bloxfit's review has come to its end, well, in the future I may I may come back with something, but as of now it's ended. We I will be looking we will be looking at um how I made like sixteen episodes in just like in the span of two years. And as I and over time uh, it got easy. So yeah, let's talk about it. So what what was my inspiration for Blocks for Each Reviewer? So, well it was um ang um angry video game nerd. Um it inspired me to do it. Um yeah. I just watched the uh, um angry video game nerd and the this this nerd was like um just ranting about like um old games and it it it, it was hilarious. So I decided to do a take on blocks for it, um, due to how like I found it um frustrating and fun sometimes, just like on and on and off. Yeah. So I first um did the Gorilla King review back in September two thousand twenty-two. But um I'm I wasn't I wasn't sh I wasn't exactly sure like how what I was going to say or yeah. So I left I left the script alone for for about seven months, no six months until I until I got back to it, and originally I had I had to use some um, harsh language, like you know like curse words, but um, but I decided to like reduce it to like mild swearing, yeah because um yeah swear. <laughs> Of course, um, my house doesn't, um, like to swear at all. So, how did I make the, how did I make a Blocks Roots Review episode? Well, I, I will tell you. So, first off, um, I, I would play, um, Blocks Roots. I, I would play Blocks Roots, um, I would, I would look around, um, in the first, second or third C about what bad stuff there would be or even good stuff um yeah and i'll just choose a specific topic for example um the bomb fruit like how when how went from being horrendous to like a decent fruit and to the point where it to the point where it takes like um lots of damage especially with its um landmines move yeah so how i played how I discovered Blocks Fruits was from an old friend of mine. Um, he's he um he moved to Korea when I was in sixth grade, and he introduced me to Blocks Fruits in um in late two thousand nineteen. Uh, at first, um, oh, I was not interested about. At first, I wasn't interested about Blocks Fruits, but. Come early twenty twenty, um, I started playing it a lot, and from two thousand twenty, I went from level twenty to level five hundred ish, or oh wait no, I went from I went to level seven hundred in just like a year, <laughs> yeah, doesn't doesn't seem like much compared to like um blocks with speed runners who take like four hours to go from level 1 to 700 but um yeah i would i would play like block fruits on every time i after school okay where were we so after we picked the after i picked the topic um i'll record i would record a video of it and looking looking from that video footage um i would um make a Google Docs um script, for example, yeah, these things. Now, the ones that are in bold is when I'm talking on camera. The ones that are not in bold um is when I speak on screen. In when I when I'm doing the gameplay, but come season two, I I just started with the script first, and and then next I would record the gameplay 
and also after after doing the script um i would print it out um first off i would do um the camera voices i'll do the camera voicing clips and then when i edit get the script back and start on um, making making voiceovers for for these not in bold um yeah so yeah i've just so i just put in um clips that i feel like it fits for the voiceover so yeah that's how you make a box with severe episode in in season one um i had some like good ed i had some like um additional um edits like um this like stick figure fight where i like fight the bacon hair guy and then um burning the bottle fruit with a fire firebomb or something like that yeah but um the scenes like scenes were like scenes like that were like too hard for me and come come yet come this year it, it it's just i had i had no time to do it because um i was in real school now i was just I was like studying or I was like studying almost all night and yeah. So when season two came, the yeah. The episodes um the episodes are like had a tight time to create. Yeah. Yeah. So the this may this may explain how um some of the season two season two episodes feel like they're rushed yeah and every um every episode i would plan to release for three weeks um if i if i um release the videos um past the deadline is just yeah i write in the description and saying it's it was delayed and yeah i feel i feel sorry for the delay Oh, as always, I edited in Film Force, so yeah, like just like every other videos I do, come um two thousand twenty two, yeah. And the second season of Blocks Reviewer was originally going to be released on um, January this year, but since um I had problems with Go with the GoPro, and as a result, I had to get get a new one. Yeah, it was, it was just, I, I had no choice but to delay it, delay it. And what's, what's worse to note, and to add the salt on the wound, my editing software, um, nagged me to buy premium. And it's a, it's actually a good thing you guys can watch this in higher quality. Like, 4K for instance. <laughs> so yeah. In Jan in January it was something I couldn't do and then for the past few months I forgot about it. But then and then come April or May I started on um, redeveloping it again. I mean um some episodes were successful, especially the hackers thing where I I think I think the reason why it got so many views is because I added on um, breaking bad references in it. <laughs> Even though I, re I don't really watch it. And. Yeah. I hoped. Um, I hope the review episodes would reach. Um, 1000 views in total. In just 16, 16 episodes. Um, I haven't really calculated. Um, the total views. On all 16 episodes. It's just. I'm um, thinking it's just 500, just around 500, but at least we're halfway through through um, my initial goal, which is 1,000 total. And come, come halfway of season two, I added on um, music at the end, at the end title screen. Um, it was just because um, I was, I was like stuck with Mega Man music for like, a long time and eventually i added um the famous wily theme from Mega Man 2 then Faramon, then Faramon's theme from the fourth game yeah so if you ever um hear um music in the future um that's because it's just like 
uh, Mega Man music that I'm just that I, um that gets stuck in my head um often. That uh, that's all I have to talk, and I I would I'll express interest in doing future like reviews. Um, I might do a comeback in some time, but not now. Probably in like a year or two later. But yeah, and la last year I did. Last year I had fun making these videos, but season two, um, it wasn't so fun, but still, it, but still, I enjoyed it, ultimately. Also to add in, um, yeah, I'll be focusing more on the Mega Man Minecraft series, and it'll make room for The Last Scream season four, yeah, which is currently upcoming, um, it's because I'm wearing... We're going to the Korea trip in like two months or so. Oh uh, yeah, that's all I have to add in for today. And I'll see you guys in, in another video. Bye.